welcome back to my channel cloud thinking today's video is going to be another educational video what we're going to learn today can really save your pc oftentimes i've seen people go in and buy a whole new pc because they have issues related to this topic and they could have performed a simple task and solved their issue um, today's topic is rebuilding a windows 7 and windows 10 profile now, why recreate a Windows profile? There are several reasons. One is you may see this error message on your screen when you go to log in, and the, which is the user profile service failed to log on. User profile cannot be loaded. Or you may not see that error message. You may be able to log in, but you notice that software isn't running right. You can't open up your internet browsers. Just a, a lot of weird things that actually occur with software and files and folders that you try to open and they're locked up and they can't. Uh, and there's several reasons for this. Um, I've had to recreate a user profile in some form or fashion with just about all versions of Windows. And the method has changed a little for each one. But for today's video, like I said, I'm going to cover Windows 7 and Windows 10 operating systems. The main reason that I've had to recreate profiles is usually because there is some corruption with the user's current profile, and a new one will remove any recent changes or corruption. Now, this could be due to failed Windows updates or automatic updates to Windows, which may have been upgrades to critical file systems. The hard drive file system may become damaged because of disk write errors, power outages, or even virus attacks can cause this. This is especially so with service pack installations that do not complete properly. In some way, the system integrity has been compromised and the operating system either cannot load the user profile or boot properly. So the first thing you're going to need to do is restart the PC in order to release any locks that are currently on that user profile. If that account has been logged on recently, then you will have to do this to make sure that there's nothing that stops you from recreating this profile. Also, after you reboot, you will have to log in with an administrative account in order to do the process that needs to be done. All right, so go ahead and save this video at this time if you need to go through this process and then reboot, log in with an admin account and go ahead and follow along with the rest of this video. Okay, so I'm assuming that you are already logged in with an administrative account. At this time, you can go ahead and go to open your PC. All right. And what you're going to want to do is open your C drive. Go down to the users folder. And as you can see, I have a few profiles in here. For today's video, this profile right here, test, is what we are going to be recreating. I'm going to just right click on it, go to rename and you just need to change it always keep it i don't think it's a good idea to delete it because you will need to get any internet shortcuts out of it anything from that user's desktop so you can always access it again once you recreate the new profile because those items do not carry over all right so we renamed it i usually just add old on to the end of it and if you see a temp file that is under this same user in this folder you want to go ahead and delete that now if you've rebooted you should not see this all right the next step that we're going to need to do is we need to open up the registry because we have a key for that user that we're going to have to delete so go down to start or your search bar and you can go to reg edit and reg editor hit yes all right, let's minimize that. All right, so I'll put this path up that you're going to need to go to uh, on the screen and as well as down in the description box. So you're going to want to go to HKey Local Machine. So that's the first directory. Go down to Software. And you're going to go to Microsoft. You're going to go to Windows NT, expand that, 
Then, of course, current version. Then we're going to go down to profile list. Expand that. Now, you have a lot of different profiles in here. What you want to do is just select each one. And then you can go and see who it actually belongs to. As we go down through here, you'll see that this one belongs to me. And then the next one should be the test profile, which you can see for the profile image path right here. All right. So we're going to right click on that and go ahead and delete it. And hit yes. Okay. Then we will close that. Now at this time, you want to go ahead and restart the PC. And then you want to have that person log in with that account. Or if you know the password, go ahead and log in and it will recreate that profile. Now after the account is logged in, as you can see, it will reload the profile. And then it will load the default screen for that account. That person may be missing all of their items on their desktop. As I said earlier, you will have to copy these over. There's a couple ways that you can do that. First, you can use a flash drive to copy over the shortcuts and the desktop items. Or you can simply log back in with an admin account and copy them over that way. Now I'm logged back in with my account, which is an admin account. So just to show you what happens, we go back to your PC, go back to your C drive, go back to the users folder. And as you can see, the new test folder is here. There's the old one that we had. All right. This is the way I find is the fastest to copy everyone's files over. I just go back into the old folder, go to desktop items. You can click, drag, and highlight everything in here. I currently do not have anything. You can copy those. And you can put them into the new folder. So you would just copy the old folder over to the new one. And of course, this is in the C users test desktop, where test is the actual profile name for that user. All right, so shortcuts, or uh, sorry, favorites, which is what gets added to Internet Explorer, you can do the same thing. So if they have a lot of favorites saved, then you can go through and copy those as well and again paste them into the new one and once that person logs back in they will have their desktop items and when they go to use the internet they will have all of their favorites on their favorites bar well that is it i hope i covered everything if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comment section below if you like this video which i hope you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button Share this video with anybody that you may know, friends, family, colleagues, uh, anybody that you know that this may help or have, may have had issues with their profiles in the past. And if you would like to stay up to date with my future videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you later.